Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. This is a timeless, off-the-grid reading. I would like to say, please do not live your life by the tarot. It is you who creates your own destiny. You are intelligent, beautiful or handsome, and you are kind. These readings may or may not resonate. Please subscribe, like, and share these videos. Someone may be enlightened by them. Also, to my subscribers, welcome back. And to any new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you're here. You are the backbone to this channel, and I greatly appreciate you. So yeah, um, this is another off-the-grid reading. It's the evening time here at Perry Lake in Kansas. And it's been thunderstorming, like, randomly. It's not right now, but it may. I don't know. A little bit ago it was. And it was raining. It was a downpour. Anyhow, <clears throat> I have a special treat today. Today we're going to be using the Voyager Tarot. And I've used this deck before. Um, so some of you may, have, may recognize this. But the surprise here is... I happened to be going around, poking around at some places, and I found a deck of Voyager playing cards. And instantly I was drawn to get these cards because of the Voyager Tarot. So today we will be clarifying the Voyager Tarot with the Voyager playing cards made by Theory 2. Okay? Interesting, right? Yeah, special, special. Let's see. And you know what? I'll tell you guys what. I, I try to do a reading last night and it got cut off right at the good part and I'm like you know what I better not you know so I figured let me get some rest and relax because I I was doing a couple I did a couple readings previous that and I thought let me just wait for some new energy right and relax and enjoy the day because the day was nice I mean before the little you know rain or thunderstorm it was like hot and sunny and <laughs> we went swimming in the lake and everything you know so i don't know it was crazy anyhow let's go ahead and get started and find out oh you guys like my little bug bracelet <laughs> oh my gosh all right remember you guys take what resonates and leave the rest don't manifest weird stuff into your life. We're just going to find out the general energy of this reading. Off the grid. Timeless reading. Right? Oh. And the thunder is starting. <laughs> Alright, you guys. Let's see what the general energy is. <clears throat> aspiration the four of wands we all know what the four of wands is right this is like the soulmate twin flame 1111 right and then we have aspiration up there so somebody might be aspiring to go ahead and go forward with this feeling the energy of their their soulmate possibly reaching out their hand to say hello these two people are far apart so this is energy of two people. See, I'm feeling like, you see, we got the Statue of Liberty right here. And far in the distance, even maybe across water, we have somebody waving their hand like, hey, I'm over here. <laughs> so somebody may be aspiring to have some sort of communication with somebody who they may feel is their soulmate. Hmm. Interesting, yeah. Okay, well, let's see. <laughs> What do we have here for this off-the-grid Voyager reading? Kind of, right? Yeah, kind of. So. Oh, Voyager. Taking a voyage? Hmm. Taking a voyage to wherever, you know, they're going to cross this water. Body of water. I don't know. We have the Man of Wands. 
The man of wands is the king of wands. But we have actor right here. So this person could be playing a role right now. Acting as if, I don't know, you fill in the blank. This person may be wearing a mask presently. Hmm. I'm, I'm just kind of wondering why there's a deer right there with, you know, why is a deer right there? Hmm. I may look into that card, but we know that the Man of Wands, the King of Wands, he's very, you know, this guy can manifest stuff. You know what I mean? Like, he is, you know, he's so passionate about what he does that it's easy for this person to manifest. We also have the Seven of Cups. The problem is, okay, we have the word fear. Seven of Cups. This is about options, but somebody might fear for these options. Maybe they... And see, this is like an underwater scene right here. And this cup is crazy looking. It doesn't even look like it's a cup. It's just, it's solid or something. It's shaped like a cup. It's solid. Somebody may be giving someone who they thought was an option a solid offer. The problem is, is they fear something. There's some sort of fear right here. Ooh, I can see a little bug in here. I'm trying to bug. Somebody might even be real persistent with this, too. Maybe bugging a little bit, right? Kind of like bugging so much that somebody might just go, fine, fine, okay. You know what I mean? That kind of energy. Where, so, you know, kind of like when you're going for a job, right? You bug them so much, you're persistent, that they finally say, all right, all right, we'll give you a try. Oh. The universe. 21 card. This is the world. This means that something has come to an end. Something that this actor, this person, they're hiding something. And they fear that these options may cause an ending. To, I don't, you know what? Let's, get, let's break out with the uh, Voyager playing deck. Look at the bottom of the deck. Six of crystals. This is like the six of swords. Confusion. So there could be some confusion here in this situation. And you know what? Maybe that's why there's a lot of fear going on here. Because there's so much confusion. Somebody might be overthinking about things maybe. I don't know. Tell us I'm sorry, you guys. I'm sorry. I don't mean to keep you... Ha I just want to take also a quick, quick peek about if there's anything that catches my eye in the Voyager book, right? As an actor, your wands are the mask and costumes you wear. Able to be different personalities. Man or woman. Courtesan or warrior bird or okay this person they are like an actor this person can get along in any situation all right like for example this person can go to the ghetto and just like be whatever what you know who what would you know 
with the gang members or with, you know, whoever is there causing problems. This person knows how to navigate that situation. Yet, on the other hand, this person can go to maybe a high society place and also know how to navigate that crowd. So it's like this person fits in in every, they, they know how, they have the know-how. It's, it could be their attitude, their smart, you know, if you're happy and you, you know, you get along. I mean, I don't know what it is, but this person knows how to navigate in different situations, right? Easily. They are an actor. They have been seasoned. They have something here. They've been taught to navigate these situations through their life experiences, right? They know when to speak. They know when to, you know, like they know how to handle. Not saying that they go running to the ghetto and everything. I'm just saying that's, an ex those are two extremes, right? And they can navigate everything in between also. Somebody here this person, whoever this navigator is, right? Navigator, voyaging, navigator. Ha <laughs> ha, you guys. <laughs> this person's going to receive some sort of message or, or, you know, some clarity on something in regards to emotions, to love. And it has to do with some, some uh, one that they were dealing with in the past because this is, an, and this is the death card. So this person may find out some news some emotional news about a person that they ended a situation with. All right? Seven of Cups. Why? Why is the Seven of Cups there? Tell us about the Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups, Fear, why is that there? There we go. Okay, so there is going to be some sort of swift message coming in, right? In regards to the Seven of Cups, this fear. So somebody was fearing about somebody or options or maybe somebody telling somebody something. But there is a message coming in in regards to some sort of stability or making stability or having stability with someone. We have the Seven of Wands, Seven of Clubs in the reverse. And this is about not feeling defensive anymore. Right? Somebody used to feel real defensive or like there was a lot of competition. But whatever news they found out, they could have found out, wow, somebody still loves me. Somebody, you know, that there was no competition. There has never been any competition. Maybe that's what somebody's finding out, you know, secretly behind, you know, whatever. And that this person, they just left because it was toxic, or this person will be leaving a toxic situation because they figure out that they're, they have nothing to be defensive over. They thought that they, you know, had to stay where they're at because they thought that's all they had, but they realize that that's not all they had. That's not their life. They can go to the person who wants to create stability with them somebody that they had in the options category. And now this person is a little fearful to come forward because, you know, they weren't sure there was, you know, there was confusion. Didn't we see that somewhere? Yeah, look, Six of Crystals, confusion. Also, we have the Six of Swords here. Same card, all right? Same, you know, kind of the same. Because this, the, the, the card decks also have a slightly different, some things are slightly different. So the universe, we all know the universe means there's an ending. And I'll tell you what, it just started raining. Can you guys hear that? And sometimes when I feel the rain or 
I, it makes me feel like somebody's crying, you know? Somebody may be sad over, ooh, somebody might be mad over something, because here comes the thunder. Tell us about this universe. Two nines. You see that? Two nines. This means that shit's coming to an end. Uh, stuff. Sorry, my bad. I didn't really need to say that. Yeah, I said it, though, okay? Anyhow, so we have two nines here. Things are coming to an end. It's totally, yeah. Somebody's done fighting. They don't want to fight anymore. They're tired. Someone's tired. I'm so tired of all this fighting. Yeah. Somebody has been through some battles, you know. Somebody has definitely been through some sort of battles in regards to the situation. The situation that, that has ended. Like, this cycle has come to an end, right? I'm trying to double check. Let's see. Because sometimes I forget. Yeah, that's what I thought. This also doubles as the sun card, right? So somebody has been enlightened to something, right? And there's that little bugger again. It's okay. That's what nature's like. We have the Nine of Swords. And so somebody has been enlightened to something. They don't want to fight about this anymore. Maybe they were fighting in the past because they were confused. There was confusion. No, nope. you know, there was the communication wasn't good, is what it was. And now somebody is trying to make sense of how, why, and how could this have ended? Right? Trying to figure that out because they're tired of fighting. All right. Maybe somebody has been fighting with themselves, their inner self. And, and maybe, or maybe someone has fight, been fighting with someone else that they brought some sort of situation to an end also, right? So this is where somebody also may be trying to make, like I said, that rock solid offer. Let's, you know what, I, real quick, I just want to take a peek at the seven of cups right there. Let's see if that something there catches my eyes, right? I mean, you know, why not? Um, okay. I think in this book, the cups are last. Because, you know, in the different books... Oh, no, the wands are last. Interesting. And, and, you know, I haven't yet seen any uh, pentacles, right? Did you guys notice that? So this is all about, this is kind of a love type of, you know. All right. So the fear card, right? Fear is symbolized by the passing of water and wave of nausea. That accompanies fright. Okay, yes, we know what fear means. Okay, so that's de definitely giving us a definition of it. Okay. So, somebody, because somebody was fearful... Okay. So, they're basically telling us what fear means. But, they also mentioned the sentence after that is some, because somebody was fearful... They basically cut off their emotions, right, and their expressions, right, because they maybe they didn't understand this situation, and if they were around you and the situation arose, they might have been feeling like, like, um, kind of like a deer in headlights. Where did I see that deer? Didn't I see a deer somewhere? Yes, yes, oh my god, you guys. <laughs> Remember, there's the deer, and it's this man of wands. So it was kind of like deer in headlights. When these emotions arose, they didn't know what to do. It's like they froze, you know? Oh, crazy. So, yeah, 
that's what, you know, something like that took place. And somebody got tripped out, right? Somebody tripped out and was like, you know, holy shit, what is this? Right? Maybe somebody had not felt this way ever. Maybe they didn't know what that emotional, love, caring, nurturing feeling was. Maybe they've never had that. And when somebody finally brought it to them, they were like, whoa, what is this? This person is evil. Or I don't know, you know, because, you know, maybe they're so used to people being evil to them. Maybe they thought that was the loving way, but it's not, right? No, it's not. Right? It was like somebody... It was like somebody had that power of love within them that they transmuted to another <laughs> another person and it freaked them out, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. So we're going to go ahead and find out now what the next two cards are here. You hear that rain coming down, right? Oh, me and Brian are nice and cozy in the trailer. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't like raining all day. I was able to make a fire and throw on some veggies on the grill. It was nice. Look at that. Oh my gosh. And when I was shuffling, I saw this card, right? Initially, in the beginning, before I started the reading. And I was like, I should look up that card real quick to see if there's anything, you know, because... Like, like I said, this is an elaborate deck. They have a lot of different meanings, you know? And it's not the same. I'm telling you, it's not the same as the normal tarot decks. It's different. And you know what? I like to follow the decks properly because there is a reason why they do that. You know? Yes, I use my intuition too. But just to be on the safe side, I always double check if I feel uneasy. Which is what every reader should do. Look at that. Creativity. Three of crystals. You know what? This is the this card came out when I did the reading the first time, but then it cut off, and then I was like, ah, I'm not going to do any more today. That card came out. All right? So obviously the reading is going to be a little different because it's the next day, right? Um, regenerator. Sage of Cups. Now this is like the Page of Cups. But it's different because a sage is not a page. No, a sage is like high, you know, high in knowledge, right? So this is what I'm talking about, right? So somebody has gained knowledge. They have regenerated themselves, their thought patterns, their way of living, their, the way it is, right? Um, this is like, yes, a page is like newness. This, a sage is also like newness, but... A newness in regards to emotional stability. Maybe this person was emotionally handicapped before, and but has now rehabilitated themselves in some way. I, you know, you guys, I don't know. <laughs> right? All right, let's see what the priestess is. Because I do, we know the high priestess this is the keeper of sacred knowledge, right? I mean... <clears throat> This person, they spent a lot of time outside in nature, by the water possibly. Look at with that, the lake behind them, you know, thinking about doing things in regards to the moon, right? Moon uh, manifestations, maybe lighting candles of the moon and wishing for, you see, it's kind of like, you know, don't dolphins just mate together? It's like this person knows that they have a counterpart somewhere and they're searching for that counterpart. Oh, holy crap, the lightning, here it comes. That's the one thing that I, you know, I see there real close by. You hear that? Yeah, gnarly, you guys. But somebody is really... You know what? Even though this is a card of Pisces, I think, the moon card is also the planet of this card... Somebody may have water in their chart. Both people might have water in their chart. And that would make both of them kind of with some sort of knowledge. Because water signs <clears throat> water signs are intuitive. People who have water, they, they kind of know things, right? You know, if they don't perfect that, then, you know, then they might live in confusion and not want to heal. Or, I don't know. 
but most water signs have this ability. It's just whether or not you can uh, learn to understand the way your body feels when things are happening to you, right? And in that way, you would need to consult in your your universe, right? Your, your God in the, within, right? Yourself. And, and it looks like somebody has taken the time out to actually do something like that. Let's find out what else this priestess is about. Oh, I didn't look it up, did I? <laughs> Let me just see what comes out since I've got the cards going. we got the Eight of Cups in the upright. And then we have the Nine of Swords in the reverse. Okay, so Nine of Swords, we just saw that something ended. Someone was trying to figure something out over here, right? But now we have it in the reverse. Somebody is headed towards somewhere, right? Because they figured something out. They used their intuition, finally, right? They used their sacred knowledge to figure out, look, there is that Nine of Wands right there. I shuffled this. You guys saw that. So somebody may want to fight for this now. Fight for something that, whoops, I made a mistake. I didn't use, look, that little bug, do you see it? I don't know what kind of bug that is. But I don't think it bites. I think it just bugs, really. <clears throat> we wanted to look, I wanted to look up the priestess, right? The second card, it's in the beginning here. What does it say? As priestess, you symbolize the law of knowledge. You know the truth through inner stillness and equilibrium. See, somebody has went within. They use the sacred knowledge within, the stuff that they've learned themselves. And then it says, what lies below the surface? So, okay, look, we're still talking about, we're still talking about the man of wands here. Now, he could be dealing with a high priestess, or this person could be using their intuition now. Or both. I think it's both. And I'll tell you why. Because this person fears something. They fear the priestess. Because the priestess knows. And what's crazy about that is this person knows that the priestess knows. Whatever happened. Right? And that's where the fear is coming from. But this person, like we said, or like I said, this person wants to make a solid offer. But there's a lot of fear there. Now, somebody's also trying to figure out a creative way to come in. They know it has ended, but they're ready to start a new cycle also. Right? 21. 10, 10, 1. Right? 21. That's telling me two tens ending. Right? 1, 1, 1, 3. Universe protected. Okay. So somebody here wants to start a new cycle. When the universe ends, that means that something new starts. So somebody is trying to create a new way. The Three of Crystals, we usually think is as the Three of Swords as something like um, third-party situation. And it could be. But the third-party situation is this fear. It's not another person. It's the fear of somebody trying to figure out a creative way to come in because they want to do it themselves. They may not want to consult like they used to with other people, right? Because now they are the Sage of Cups trying to, or in the energy of that, trying to be emotionally stable within themselves. <laughs> I don't know what that means or what that, where that came from, but I don't know, I'll have to listen to that later. It sounded pretty, pretty gnarly. Anyways, let's find out what this creativity card's about. The Three of Crystals. What is that? Three of Crystals right there. So, somebody was is definitely in some sort of addiction or codependent situation, right? Three of Crystals. Somebody could be living with a parent, a relationship, a friend, a roommate, whatever, right? Um, somebody that's helping take care of them or take care of whatever issues they have, right? And it could be a Queen of Pentacles 
who this person is in the reverse queen of pentacles this is like a widowed lady or a divorce say usually so somebody could have shacked up with somebody who was divorced who had money maybe try uh, use some sort of addictions or codependencies to nab this person or something but it turns out that this person this queen of pentacles she's a very selfish lady she doesn't like to share she's not very nurturing um, usually, like I said, a divorced woman, she's also unstable mentally, physically, all around, not very, uh-uh, not, not the Queen of Pentacles we all know and love. This is a, a, not a good one, right? Um, and this is, somebody might also be trying to figure out a creative way to separate themselves from this, okay? This darn bug, it's okay, I'm gonna get that. Let me get that book out of here and watch. <laughs> Not on screen with you guys, but <laughs> I will. <laughs> All right. So anyhow, let's put these back, you know. So that we got three people here. Three of crystals could be the third party situation, though, you know. But I'm not sure it's... It, I don't think it's the, the third party situation that we're thinking about. You know, I think it's about heartbreak because that Queen of Pentacles is causing the heartbreak between these two, right? And this is where somebody is trying to find a creative way in order to bring this situation together. They want their soulmate. That's basically what's going on here. This Man of Wands is very passionate about his soulmate, and he wants his soulmate, yet he doesn't want... He could be dealing with a very grouchy, bitter family member. Somebody who has been holding them back from love. Because maybe they don't like anyone they go for. But this time, this person has a feeling about a certain particular individual. And once again, the, the family member doesn't like him. And it's like, you're, you're, they're never satisfied. They're never satisfied. And it could be because somebody just doesn't want to... Somebody doesn't want to cut the umbilical cord. It could be that. You know what I'm saying? Still attached to mom. This could be a mommy issue thing. Alright. So, somebody has regenerated some new ideas, some new emotions, some new thoughts, and new feelings for someone. Alright? Oh, with the regenerator here. So, we're going to find out what the final card here is. Okay. Oh, you guys ran out of time. Maybe we're just going to go ahead and go on to... Uh, video at number two because I have uh, an oracle that I want to test out. So stand by for reading number two. All right. So <laughs> this is part two of the part one, right? Because we went over. Because I guess it got kind of elaborate the reading, right? The oracle that I have here, it's called the Kabbalah. This is another oracle I got. We're going to go ahead and give that one a try. I already started doing a couple pulls for myself during the day, for the day, like as a day, like pull one to try to learn a little bit. It's a very, very elaborate deck. But since I'm pulling you guys into part two of the reading, still have to finish the reading. I think we're just going to go for it and see what flies 